alaikum my dear students i welcome you in my new class after a long period of time i hope you are all fine and today uh, we are going to enter um, a new unit um, because uh, you have to start a new session and you have to face the new portion of your uh, book and you already have ideas i hope about your new short syllabus assigned by government okay and what can you see in the picture um you may think that like you some teen aged students here you see two boys and two girls like you um i think you can guess these boys and girls uh, can be mentioned as adolescents yes you are right uh, so today's lesson is adolescents uh, unit 6 title of the unit is adolescents and lesson 1 the storm and stress of adolescents okay and um, i think these word adolescents must be applicable uh, for you and you yourselves are the burning examples of adolescence okay adolescence is a period from childhood to adulthood a man cannot be um, formed from his infancy um, at a, a quick time as a man it takes time one day two day three days four days one year two years uh, one um, 12 years in this way an infant becomes a man and there are some phases some stages and these stages from uh, boyhood to um, adulthood this serious transitional time is called adolescence and what about lesson 1 the title of the uh, lesson 1 the storm and stress of adolescence there are two kinds of storm environmental storm and the mental storm the outer storm and the inner storm the outer storm can be seen the natural storm okay lightning thundering okay very horrible and such kind of lightning and thundering can be happened in our mind and in this special period of time adolescence a boy or a girl face such kind of a storm the storm in their mind and the outcome of the storm is the stresses so many stresses mental stresses anxiety frustration hesitation disappointment it's very natural biological and universal from time in memory all the adolescent boys and girls are facing such kind of storm and stresses so today we are going through such kind of situations okay now we are going to enter the text Point one: Children must pass through several stages in their lives to become adults. Okay, a man becomes a man by going through so many hardships and difficulties of lives. Several stages. For most people, there are four or five such stages of growth where they can learn certain. things so the scientists have discovered analyzed that naturally there are four or five such stages um of growth where a boy or a girl are becoming is becoming a man and naturally they have gained so many experiences so many knowledge practical wisdom in their lives infancy so many stages first of all infancy what is the duration of life from birth to age 2 then early childhood 
the duration 3 to 8 years, later childhood 9 to 12 years, adolescence 13 to 18 years. So here we find the mention, mentioning of adolescence and what is the duration of the adolescence? From 13 to 18 which we, are, we call teen age. Teen age, persons 18 and over are considered adults in our society. Now, here we face so many questions. Our society, okay, we are the um, uh, persons of third world, Asian world, okay. So, our society are, is completely different from the Western society. So, in our society, when a boy or girl becomes 18 years, we, we consider uh, the boy or girl as an adult person. We uh, act, we treat, we offer our treatment to the boy or girl as an adult person without considering, without considering the perfection of the adulthood of the child. It is injustice, total injustice. Of course, there are some who will try to act older than their years. And sometimes we see uh, the opposite pictures. Mm. Though we consider um, the ch children from t uh, 13 to 18 years as children, but they act as older person. They think themselves that we have become already adult person. And we have so many authorities. We have so many responsibilities. We can do anything. But for the most part, most individuals have to go through their stages irrespective of their economic and social status. Okay? Uh, so, in most cases, we see that the individual persons, the boy or girl, have to go through their individual situations. Suppose uh, a child in rural area will be treated in one way and a child in urban area will be treated in another way because the social and economic situations are not same. In this way, the treatment towards the adolescents must be very fight. Then point two, World Health Organization, abbreviation WHO, identifies adolescents as the period in human growth and development. Of course, it is the most important part of human life. It is a time, time of growth and development uh, physically, mentally, socially, all kinds of formation. Um, biological formation, mental formation, okay. All kind of formation will be processed at this time. That occurs after childhood and before adulthood. So, it begins after childhood and stops before adulthood. This phase represents one of the critical transitions in one's life span. So, this stage of life, transitional, transitional, which are uh, taking quick changing situations. Sometimes uh, this type of situation uh, and sometimes another types of situation because it is a time of transformation from childhood to adulthood. So many kinds of complexities will be happened in the mind, uh, in the physical impact of the boy of the girl. Is characterized by fast paced growth and change which are second only to those at infancy, okay. From infancy to childhood, we find the uh, man uh, in a um, permanent stage. But in um, adolescence period, we see a rapid change, rapid change of the boy and girl, which is very astonishing, amazing changes for human body and mind. Biological processes drive many aspects of this growth and development with the onset of puberty marking the passes from childhood to adolescence. Puberty, the physical changes which begins 
in this special period called adolescence. So biological processes, um, the most noticeable changes are the biological changes. Okay, this is the time of formation, growth of different physical organs, human organs. Okay, uh, this uh, situation drives many aspects of the growth and development, um, which is very notable. And the guardians, the teachers, uh, the outsiders of the adolescents can notice such kind of biological changes with the onset of poverty. Onset means uh, with the beginning of poverty, begin marking the passage from childhood to adult. So it makes a passage a way, um, uh, a passes, uh, it makes a connection, connection from childhood to adulthood. The biological determinants, determinants means um, which are the characteristics, physical characteristics of adolescents are fairly in universal. Universal means day after day, generation after generation, such biological changes uh, uh, are happening. In our uh, boyhood, we are facing such kinds of uh, uh, changes. Our forefathers uh, facing such changes, and you are also, you are also facing such kinds of biological changes. So it is very universal. The duration and defining characteristics of this period may vary across time, cultures, and socioeconomic situations. Vary, not very. Vary means it will be different. Such kind of bi biological uh, changes and such kind of uh, duration of this time of changes may vary, may be different on the basis of time, cultures, and socioeconomic situations. My grandmother uh, in her uh, adolescent, adolescent period um, faced one kind of situation. My mother faced one kind of situations. I, I faced, myself faced one kind of situations and you are going to, going to face another type of situation. So why are such miscellaneous types of situations? Because it must be very across time, culture, socioeconomics. In one culture we see um, different type of cultures. In our Bengali cultures, you can see the rural cultures, the urban cultures, okay? Developed cultures, non-developing cultures, uh, Muslim cultures, Hindu cultures, okay? So, it will depend on types of culture, socio-economic situation. A slum boy, a slum girl will, uh, will face one type of situation and another but a boy or girl living in a developed environment will face another type of situation. So um, this period has seen many changes over the past century. Poverty, for example, comes earlier than before. People marry late and their sexual attitudes, um, behaviors are different from their grandparents or even parents. Okay, I have told you earlier that uh, this period see many kinds of changes because the days are coming good, better days are coming. My grandparents um, uh, faced some difficult situations against their um, uh, will, power, and now you are facing more developed situations. Okay, and what type of um, changes that puberty comes early, okay, people marry late. My grandma uh, married at the early age, at the age of 10 or 9. My mother married at the age of 16. I married at the age of uh, 28. And you will marry later, later age. So here you find the development of this situation. Grandparents or even parents among the factors responsible for the changes are education, urbanization, and spread of global communication. So what are the reasons behind 
such kind of changes one education the education is developing day by day and most of the areas becomes urbanized and a spread of global communication you know now the whole world becomes one society so these are the outcomes of this type of changes now um, we can uh, analyze the church adolescence what are the main characteristics of the adolescence adolescence is a center first of all we can tell it at a transitional period because what type of transition transformation from childhood to adulthood so it is called the transitional period next period of change of course adolescence is the period which must be called as a period of change from childhood when a man uh, will be changed as the adulthood there is must be a time that is called adolescence problem is i have told you earlier because such kind of is uh, sometimes we consider the adolescent uh, boy or girl as mature person and sometimes they themselves consider um, as mature person so there is a clash generation gap between guardians and the adolescents uh, between the social economic situations and the adolescents mental situation so it is called problem is next is of uh, search for identity because such kinds of adolescents boys and girls consider sometimes consider themselves as mature persons so um, they uh, they are trying for their own identity i have become so much mature i must be uh, act like an identified persons like my mother or father or any other um, established person in the society but there is a uh, great great gap between the reality and the imagination so they are facing so many problems in this stage of special stage of life time of unrealism they are uh, uh, they are um, spreading they are spending their most of their time in the world of fantasy because maximum feelings are mixed with passions passions they are too much passionate not so realistic not so realistic because they are not so experienced physically uh, they must be considered as adult person but mentally they are not so matured so they are considering themselves adult person and living in the world of fantasy and imaginations um, it is universal such uh, happens um, in every body's life okay i think today is the beginning of this um unit so i um, have give you some superficial about uh, ideas about adolescence and in my next session uh, i will try to discuss it in details and take care of your health thank you